Yo, 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 what is up guys? Welcome back to another Defying Fitness video. For this one, we're going over a little weigh-in because you know, it is the cutting series portion of it. And we're gonna go over a my increase in my bench press lately and just kind of like stuff like that I've been doing. Um, maybe a little bit more of my workout I might show you. Not totally sure yet, but currently it is 12.06. This is like my lunch time uh, for my uh, online classes right now. But I'm making a YouTube video instead because I care about you guys and I'll eat a little bit later. I'm not really that hungry right now. But we're gonna get rolling right into this video. Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy. So just kind of something I've been immediately doing, um, especially on my push days, because as you, if you guys don't know, I do a push pull legs um, type of workouts. Um, but immediately what I've started to notice is yes, my legs and my back are getting stronger, um, but my chest and you know my shoulders aren't really getting that stronger and they're not like as built or defined as they were back in quarantine um, ever since I got my concussion. So what does this mean? So basically I've started to try and implement uh, a three day rotation where so, I work out from Monday through Saturday, so that's six days already. Six days, not seven, six days already. Um, throughout the week, and I take Sunday as my rest day. It's always my rest day. Um, just because I'm a busy guy, I can catch up on things. I can watch football, you know, do X, Y, or Z. Just kind of sit back, relax, and, you know, enjoy, like, my weekend and stuff like that, right? Um, but going back into this, so Monday, I do push. Tuesday, I, I do pull. Wednesday's always leg day. Wednesday for leg day. Um, Thursday is push again, Friday is pull, and Saturday is typically legs. But what I've started doing now to kind of implement more uh, push methods and stuff like that to kind of, you know, like build up my chest more um, and my shoulders and my tricep more is I'm make, actually making that second leg day. I'm making that a, a push day slash leg day like conversion type deal thing. Um, right now it's actually day one is the 21st of September of 2020. Um, so right now we're actually, uh, it's Monday, so we're doing our first push day initial workout. Um, but that's something that I've been doing recently, just kind of promote, uh, I guess like strength build up in my chest and my shoulders and my triceps. Um, cause you know, I'm trying to become a well-rounded athlete. Um, and I just feel like that's a lagging component. So by working it out more, you're getting more blood flow. Um, you know, you're able to like lift more and stuff like that. So that's number one. Number two, my back and bicep workout. It hasn't really changed a whole lot. Um, I have been doing a lot of teardown sets, especially with lat pull downs. Um, I've been using a wide, typically I use like a wide grip. Now I'm using kind of a narrow grip so I can really feel that stretch in my lats because um, that's what I really want to do. Um, and towards the end of my workouts, I'll normally begin with it. Um, I'll kind of go throughout my workout and then towards the end, I'll do uh, kill bicep curls, um, do a teardown set with that. But then also uh, superset that with uh, like narrow, narrow lat pull downs. Um, so I really get that good stretch. And I really make sure I'm working my back because um, that's really important to me. Um, and then for legs, uh, I'm squatting. You know, I squat, I was squatting twice a week. Now I'm squatting once a week. Um, just kind of keeping it simple with just either heavy squats or like squats for reps or something like that. Making sure I use uh, both strength and hypertrophic movements um, throughout my workouts. Um, but then also I throw in, you know, leg extensions uh, for the quads, um, standing uh, hamstring curls, and also some leg press, um, plus like lunges and anything else that I'm really feeling like doing that day. Um, but otherwise, it's nothing really too complicated or anything like that. You know, it's like a beginner's workout as I'm kind of getting back fully healthy and stuff like that. Um, my head is feeling better. Um, which is really nice because I can push more weight and kind of stuff like that, which is actually really good and I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I would do the weigh-in after the workout, but I will show you guys a couple bench uh, tips and tricks that I've been doing, um, plus the rest of my day one push workout, my kind of new updated thing. Um, but real quick plug, if you haven't already, go, uh, go check out my real quick plug, but if you haven't already, go check out my Instagram and my Twitter. You can DM, DM me there on for free workouts um, and that whole sort of thing. I will be posting a link to my Discord server down below. So 
that's the end of the plug. DM me if you want workouts. Anyway, we're gonna get rolling right into this workout. So I will see you there. What's up guys, just got done the brutal, brutal, brutal chest workout, but I did PR for reps though. I haven't hit 205 for three, I've hit it for two. Um, so this means we're only getting stronger, which is good. Um, right now I'm absolutely gassed. My chest has a killer pump right now. Um, my arms still so shot, especially my triceps. Um, so I'm really looking forward to going home, taking a shower, eating some food and relaxing. Um, anyways, Sit tuned for the next part right up coming up here. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for uh, all the support. Catch you in a bit. All right, what's up, guys? I really hope that you guys enjoyed that workout. Right now, we're kind of going to be over, going over uh, my current weigh-in as this is the cutting series. Um, so right now, I'm actually weighing in at 235.5 pounds. I have lost some more weight this this week. It has been a good increase. I I know before I said I'd be doing more cardio, but in reality, that kind of didn't end up happening. I kind of just kind of lowered the carb some, uh, cut the protein around the same. So I'm still consuming 230, or sorry, 263 grams of protein a day. Um, but I was consuming around 300 carbs a day, but now I've kind of bumped that down to like 280. Um, but I've just kind of been kind of more mindful of what I've been eating, you know, trying to clean up the diet. Um, so I might end up doing a uh, full day of eating soon or something like that. I'm not totally sure yet, but I will let you guys know. If you do like that, make sure you hit up uh, the comments down below and just let me know or DM me on my socials too, um, just so I can know and realize that. Because um, I'm here to do what you guys want to see. You know, I like to work out. I like to post content for you also. Just let me know down below if you really want me to do that. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been changing up too much, just really cutting down on the carbs, implementing uh, a couple of sessions of cardio a week, nothing really too heavy or too strenuous. Um, just enough to kind of get the blood flowing again and... Uh, get me more into a caloric deficit. Um, so I am still eating like 2,900 calories a day. That's kind of basically the weigh-in portion of it. I will do a more in-depth weigh-in portion, I think for the next video, but I gotta get crack lacking on some homework and I gotta go eat some food so I can get ready for this push workout, which you just saw, but I recorded this part beforehand. So, you know, oh well. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and follow me on my socials too as you guys will see in the description below make sure you do all that subscribe like follow turn on bell notifications to let me know uh to let you guys know whenever i post a video and i will see you all later peace out love you guys